I want to offer you, check this out, to have the courage to leave your problems. I want you to have the courage to leave your problems. I want you to, to choose to have the courage. In other words, when we had a problem in our past, when you have a traumatic experience, sometimes you unconsciously identify with that. That happened to me. So you kick in some kind of life-saving device that's always there just in case that problem comes back. But in doing so, you also keep that identity. You keep that problem there. You could have the problem of no one understands you. You have the problem of I'm always broke. But I want you to have the courage to leave the problems and go to a frequency that doesn't have that problem. To have the courage to just say, that's not me anymore. There might have been something that happened to you, but you don't need to keep being the person that that happened to. And there is a significance we get. There is a familiarity and a comfort in that problem happens to me. And I know how to save myself when that problem happens. So imagine that in having a solution to a problem, you also have the problem. And I want to dare you to have the courage today <clears throat> to leave your problems, to stop being the person that picks up that issue, to, that today could be the first day that you no longer are even identified with that problem and move to an, a, a new place of, I'm actually an abundant being. I'm infinite. No one hurts me. I'm magical. I, I'm free. I don't, I don't seek approval. I don't seek money to fix how I'm always broke. I'm an abundant being. I'm healthy. I want you to, to leave the I get significance and connection with my problem world, right? Let's move to a place of abundance. Let's move to a place of joy and freedom and massive expansion. So join me in having the courage to leave the story of your problems. And, and what would that be replaced with? That could be replaced with freedom, play. You could, you could have a life of a lot more play, a lot more abundance, a lot more joy, a lot more freedom. And, and you just do that by selecting what's trying to happen for you. And, and then giving yourself the permission to say yes to it and not checking in with other people, unless they're people that you know will support you in that. Not needing other people to see what your vision is, not needing other people to understand why you're going for it, not checking in with everyone else, but instead just saying yes to it. There is a free me, there's an abundant me, there is a powerful me, there is a joyful me, there's a playful me, there is an in love me, there is a, there's a magical me. And I don't need to keep being the person that no one ever understands that no one, you know, that's always going through a struggle. And you, some people identify with the struggle. I'm the person who always struggles. I'm always going through so much. I'm so busy. And then they go, I want people to see me for my struggle. I want you to undo the need to be seen by anyone. And I want you to see what's trying to come through for you. I want you to find the joy in yourself, in your freedom, in your expansion, and know that joy and expansion is 100% of the time trying to happen for you. And very many of us are addicted to, I need to do what I need to do to be understood by other people who pro primarily are not connected to that thing, that are not connecting to their highest, but are much more in the frequency of what you're supposed to do in the world. And one of the things I said as a riff today, that'll be a short in the future is we very often think that the number one thing we need is clarity. I want you to hear this for a second. I need to have clarity in what I'm supposed to do with my career. I need to have clarity in who the person is that I'm supposed to be dating. I need to have clarity. And often we look at other people and see that they have clarity. They know what they want. And one of the things that I've noticed is many of the people who have for sure clarity in what they want in the physical realm have that because they do not know that there is a connection to their heart and a connection to source. So because they don't know that, the highest they know is have clarity. Know what you want, have it. Know what you want. I know it's that career. I know it's that vision. So very often those people look like they have clarity and they know what they're doing. And when you're connected to something in your heart, 
you start to, you, you don't know that you are sometimes. And the heart goes, we move based on feeling and you will have clarity via feeling, but not via circumstances. The reason is because so much magic is trying to happen for you. And a lot of the magic you don't know is trying to unfold with the feeling. And there's so many things that are happening for you that you don't know about. So you can't have clarity in an unfolding frequency. You just have the feeling. And when you learn that that feeling is the truth and you learn to follow the feeling, you trade external clarity for the clarity of, I feel good. I feel expansive. I feel free. So don't trick yourself into because everyone else could look like they know what they're doing so much that they do. They just might be disconnected and in what they call the real world. And in their real world, they go, you have a certain circumstance, you know what you're here to do. You X, you know, all these different things. But I want to, I want to offer you, if you're here, you're connected to something deeper. You're connected to a feeling in your heart, a feeling in your body. And it doesn't always have external clarity. It has clarity in this is a yes. And it trades a lot of external clarity. And then you follow this feeling and then an unfolding happens. See, if you have clarity, then an unfolding couldn't happen, right? It's just what you were clear on. And then that happens. But an unfolding is a bunch of things happening. You didn't know the specifics of, but they are a match to the vibration that you're feeling. So as you're moving up and feeling, you get a bunch of surprises that match and are normal to the frequency that you're following and feeling. So my dare to you is to continue to trade the need for external clarity for your soul and what it's trying to unfold. And then watch how many things match that. And the more you follow this feeling, you might be like, okay, certain things need to leave my life and certain things will come in. They're just the match to your certainty, your connection to your highest vibration. So as a huge dare to you, have the courage to leave your problems because often the clarity is a response to your problems, right? In other words, I have a problem of I'm scared to be a failure. So I have the certainty and the clarity of this business will never make that happen, right? But you still have the underlying fear of being a failure. So your clarity is very often the cover up to what your deepest fear is. And you don't want to, if you're here, you don't want to create a solution to a fear. You want to heal the fear by understanding there's no truth in it by listening to the highest you, right? So when you listen to the highest you, you trade external clarity, the knowing of what the specifics are for, I know, I just know that I'm moving to something freer and higher. And as you move to that expansion, you, you purge those external connections, need for approval, need for clarity, everything else. And you watch as you move into a level of joy that other people who are connected to that same thing feel permission to move towards. And people who are not connected to that feel threatened and will probably leave or have the courage to find theirs. But as you move up in your vibration, you will end up People will end up leaving because you're a giant threat to how they're living their life. And so they might give you crap. They might leave, whatever, but you just, that's fine. It's between you and your soul. This is between you and your heart, you and God, and understand that your trading of external clar clarity for internal freedom is going to be where all your power is and watch as your joy, your freedom, all these things that are not circumstantially based, but feeling based will match in circumstances. So instead of your circumstances being first and going, when I'm clear on that circumstance, I'm happy. We trade it for, I follow my heart. I feel the happiness. And the byproduct is the circumstances match my wholeness, my joy, my freedom, my completeness. So join me in having the courage to let go of your problems and trade that for a freedom in your heart, a joy. Life is getting so good, you guys. Release yourself of the burdens of all the crap you're carrying that are no longer you. Undo yourself from the shame. Undo yourself from the low vibration crap. Undo yourself from that heaviness. That's not you. That's you trying to stay connected to your parents' egos and your family unit and, and be seen by people that will not be able to see it. Trade it. You find you, let you tell you what your next steps are, follow it, feel that freedom and watch how all kinds of clarity will just start to unfold and change and get even clearer and clearer. Keep following that freedom. You're going to be in joy, 
joy is your birthright. Let's feel some joy. Let's feel some freedom. Let's feel some health. Let's feel some happiness. I am so happy to be with you guys today. <laughs> Let's do a hot seat. Hey guys, that riff you just saw happened right before one of the craziest hot seats I've ever seen. If you want to see it, it's hot seat number 64 on the Absolutely Everything Pass. You will not believe what shifts in an hour and a half with someone. Join us on the Absolutely Everything Pass. See all the hot seats. See all the Wednesday night calls. Join us for a Q&A. Get in a hot seat yourself. Don't miss out. Thousands of people are on it right now. Join us on the Absolutely Everything Pass.